Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And not just any walk, no, no, no. We are back at it, the Stockholm's mega walk. Um, walking the green line all the way, yes. I think we're at uh, part eight or part nine. We started in Farstastrand on the south, the first stop here on the green line. And now we have reached Friedemsplan. And um, yeah, we make our way up, what is it? Kind of north, um, but then in the end, we we'll go all the way to the west to Hesseby Strand. It's good to see you all again, welcome back. I think we'd walk 649 um, and to start off with no I have not forgotten about the three years of walking special walk it is coming up and it will be very good it's just a little bit delayed because I wanted to do it with Olof and maybe even another guest but I will tell you that later um, but it was planned and unfortunately you know my kids got sick so it got in the way so we moved it but Again, I haven't forgot about it, so we're still doing it, so no problem. So, where are we? We just passed um, the metro station and we're gonna walk towards Torjotsplan. And we are on St. Eriksgata, the main street here uh, on Kungsholmen. One of the streets. So yeah, excited to be back. It's a bit drowsy weather. Um, a bit rainy it's been a plus degree so most of the snow especially here in the inner city has melted but um, I don't really mind right <laughs> we've had so much snow this winter so in the end they do get a little bit tired of it so this is St. Jordan's Gotham I think we can go straight ahead here yeah, we got the park over there. But yeah, let's go straight ahead. It's always a bit tricky for me to find um, find it the way to Torres Plan because I never really walked that way, so I'm not too sure. But we'll find out. It's a lot of traffic here. Ooh, a little moped, nice. He's like, I'm going to pretend if I don't see you. <laughs> Pizza kebab. Stockholm kebab. I don't know how you actually pronounce that in Turkish, the original language. Is it kebab or kebab or kebab? <laughs> I don't know. Dick, come on, help me out, uh, Dick White. You live in Turkey, you, you should know this. But that's actually a perfect example of um, how a dish is like popular everywhere, right? Just like pizza, kebab is everywhere popular. Hamburgers as well. It's all the fast food actually. Um, so yeah, I think I should have a little look on the map here because I'm not really sure where I'm going. Let me have a look. Um, yeah, I think I'm all right, actually. And then go... Ah, should be about right. Should be about right, somewhere over there. Oh, that's quite funny. It says Solentuna on the sign over there. That's not where I'm going. Solentuna, 12 kilometers. Drottning Holmswegen. Yes. I like it. These girls are in a good mood. They're ready for spring. 
Well, who isn't? <laughs> it's been a long winter. Actually, this is a nice bar, retro bar and restaurant. It's a chain of uh, of like pubs and it's a bit sports bar-ish. You know, oh, you can kind of see the, the vibe here. They got burgers and beer and all the good stuff in life. Same goes actually for Hitch and Keller. That's also a chain of pubs. But that's a bit less my style, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I like it as well, but the decoration isn't kind of my vibe. So... Um, where am I going? This is Handwerker Gotham. Actually, shall I go along the water? I'm a bit indecisive today, what to do. Um, oh, I can go across here quickly. No, actually, let's go that way. Yeah, I'm gonna cross the street. So yeah, this um, this project was <laughs> was supposed to finish in the summer. That didn't really go as planned, but. Oh, I'm having fun along the way. It's all good. I mean, it's probably finished before some kind of summer. Maybe it's 2025, who knows? <laughs> so yeah, the three years of walking is going to be uh, a longer video. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, ah, you'll find out where it is and with who it is and how we do it uh, pretty soon. So yeah, Olof, if you're watching, let's meet up soon to do that. Oh, this is a nice street. What's this? Kolviksgatan. Nice. I like the architecture here, the stones and everything. A bicycle store. Actually, it's an electric bicycle store. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I don't want to know how much that was, uh, but... <laughs> Those beauties cost, I mean, quite a lot. So it says you're in the sign. Ruhrlandshofspiken, nope. Nordtul, nope. Sankt Eriksplan, no. Rådhuset, no. City, no. This is not where I'm going. None of that. I'm not going anywhere. Hornstul, Söderman, Bromma, no. There's nowhere I'm going. Torilsplan, that's where we want to go. I'll find it at some point, so good. Drottning Holmswegen, yay! Today actually feels a bit more autumnish, you know, with the, the leaves on the ground there and wet and damp and You know that type of cold that kind of gets in, gets to you, like in inside your body kind of feeling? Like autumn for me is sometimes way colder than winter. But maybe that's a mental thing as well. By the way, let me know in the comments. Good question to the chat gang. What's your favorite month of the year? Let me know. 
and why also because that's interesting right uh, why do you love that month so much for me if I have to pick one month it is a tricky one it is either May or June and one of the most common questions I get on social media and on YouTube and things like this is when do you suggest to come to Stockholm? What's the best time of the year to visit the city? The answer is the same, right? So it's either May or June. Um, and why? Because in the summer, like summer is also fun, like the, the, the top of the summer, but there's a lot of tourists. Um, but but there's just a special feeling in the north when you get outside of the very cold and long winter. The darkness is finally gone, the birds are chirping, um, the animals are, you know, the wildlife, the deers. It's just something special and it's also something in the air with the people that they're really, really happy that they um, kind of survived the winter, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's a really nice atmosphere. People are soaking up the sun, you know, it's only sometimes 16 degrees, but they're like, oh, beautiful, so warm, nice. So yeah, it's, it's um, I would say May or June. So let me know in the, um, in the comment section, what's your favorite month? And I guess some people are on the other side of the uh, equator, right? The other side of the, uh, of the world. So maybe you have opposite seasons. So let me know. So this sign actually has Toriel's plan on it, so I haven't got lost yet. I wouldn't like to live here on this big road actually, with the balcony on this side. So if you go that way, you go to like uh, Stura Lila Essingen. I have done one or two walks there, but I think I have to go back and do more there. There's so much more to explore. I've said this many times before, but the more you do, the more you walk, the more ideas you get for new stuff. Like I even even touched the archipelago yet. There is literally thousands of islands I could do walks on. But yeah those are day trips right so it's i did last year one in grinda um, which i really enjoyed it's one of the most beautiful places i've been like ever not just in sweden it's so beautiful like when when it's warm and oh this is wonderful it's a bit foggy today as well Let me see, how do I get from here to the station? Hmm. Finally back on the green walk. Green walk, yeah, it's a green. Walking is always green. It's very healthy and a very environmentally friendly alternative to driving, yes. Green walking. Um, the green line, yes. Some people have asked me, are you going to do the blue line and the red line as well? At some point, yes, definitely. Why not? I just keep on walking. And it would be fun to get to 1000 walks. And I know myself, once I get to 1000, I'll go, eh, I might as well continue. So. But yeah, that's the goal for now anyway. 1,000 walks. Oh yay! An extremely ugly artwork, yes. You know, I'm a bit critical on art sometimes, but like literally, what's the point? Just tell me. Can anyone tell me the point of this? This probably has cost 200,000 crowns, $20,000. What do you get? 
I have no idea but it's a waste of tax money well let's go here so I'm not anti-art or anything nothing like that but I just don't see the point of that I'm gonna build in some stuff here what they're doing here but rebuilding some quite funny it says Tordosplan metro station 200 meters that way but I see it over there the metro station it's over there so someone has <whistles> someone has switched the um, the sign to the other side Semlor yes but this is another big thing here in Sweden. I'll let you have you have a look. So the other day it was so-called Fetish Dagen. Um, basically, it's like Fat Day. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of Swedish people eat these things. It's called a semla. One semla, two semlor. Let's make it the word of the day, semlor. I don't think there's an English word for it, but it's a typical Swedish fika dish. I personally think they're not good at all it's a lot of cream a lot of sugar and I think they're just a bit too filling for my liking um, but yeah anyway Swedish people love them so yeah I don't know if you have had, had one um, yeah let me know what they might think that's for sure so I think I can, you know what, I can cross the street here and then go round the block and then to the station, that's fun. It's a big avenue here, as you can see. Wait, let me quickly cross. Oi. Hey, pizzeria! Yay! Yeah, yeah. Torilsplan is actually one of the nicest stations in Stockholm, I believe, because it, it has a computer game t t theme to it. I know, in general, the um, the Blue Line is being known for the longest artwork, art, the longest art gallery in the world, I believe. But every station along the Blue Line has art to it. But the green line also has a lot of hidden gems, for sure. Um, there's so many small art things on the station, around the station, on basically, I would dare to say that almost every single metro station in Stockholm has artwork. I mean, forget the pendle talks, the commuter trains, those are really boring in general. But um, Subway, yeah, really beautiful. Some better than others, but in general, really nice. So always I like to have a look. If there's, and sometimes the art is very subtle. There's some small things here and there, but there's always something. Even on the green line, if you go to Talkrug and Sansbori, places like this, there's a little bit of art everywhere. So this is what I was after, which is this street called. See, when you go into the neighborhood, it's really nice here. And this neighborhood actually reminds me more of Vasastan. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what this neighborhood is actually called because the station is called Torilsplan, but I'm not sure what, the, as we call it in Swedish, it's called Kvartier. Neighborhood is called. Let me have a look. Kvartiret Kalkunen. That's funny. The Turkey. <laughs> the Turkey, this area is called. That's funny. Here, a little park. Wonderful. Nice little quiet. 
courtyard or yeah the, no, it's not really a courtyard it's more of a park some trees so in the next episode which i want to do really fast it's not fast soon um i'll go from christina bay and i'm finally heading over the bridge all week that means that we go outside of the city you can kind of say that Turdus Plan here is the last station of the inner city. Oh, actually, no, maybe Christina by the next one. But then after, you go out, and then once you pass Alwick, you go to Westerut, the western suburbs. So we kind of went from the south through the city, a bit up north, and then after Alwick, you go west all the way to Hesseby Strand. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited for this. See, we're closing in now to the station. So we only managed to do one station today. Actually, I wanted to do two. But um, yeah, I think it's all right like this. No stress. Yeah, we can go into the station and have a look. Because as I said, it's a really nice station. go around it you see the big T you know that's always the the reminder of where the station is 